All right, we are going to discuss rotary encoders today so that you can make your own dials um, to do whatever you like. Um, just going to show you the items bought, which was the Autofruit Rotary Train Key, the most important part of the project. And then a Potanometer, which you don't have to buy these, but these are the ones I bought. And then uh, a dial of your choosing or knob of your choosing, which this is what I bought. And then if you don't have a solder iron, they're not that expensive, so you will have to solder eventually. And I can't give you too much hints on that, so I will uh, add a card slash link to a video that would give you an adequate short tutorial about how to properly solder. These are the dials, and this is what I use them for, to go back and forth on the timeline and zoom in and zoom out. Uh, if you didn't know, you just go into the Ed tab, go to keyboard shortcuts, and then you can uh, change the shortcuts to whatever you like. That's uh, it's kind of integral in this situation, considering not everyone has their zoom in and zoom out as like A and S, or um, the comma and period for the uh, frame right and left, so make adjustments as needed. But first thing you'll need to do is when you plug up that uh, USB, it'll come up as a Trinky boot. And we simply need to go to circuitpython.org uh, to the downloads, type in tr uh, Rotary Trinky, find it, click on it, so we can get this file right here and download it. And as soon as you download it, it will drop it onto the drive. I recommend making a copy because once you drop it on there and if you have to reset it, you'll lose it. So once you drop on that file to the USB, it will automatically be called a circuit Python. And it, yeah, it just transforms. That code.py file, that's the one where all the magic's really gonna be done. Um, you can get to the necessary site by searching Adafruit Rotary Encoder in Google, then going to the primary guide. And then first, the next thing you wanna do is install the MU editor, which you can do there. Also, your code for uh, frame by frame is in the same location under Circuit Python Essentials. And when you go there, you'll be downloading this code or this project bundle. If you download the project bundle, it'll give you all the resources you need. That's basically all that stuff that's saying about import time, rotary, board, yada yada. Um, if you don't download the project bundle, you might still have to go and access it through the GitHub page, which you, you can access in the corner there. But yeah, <clears throat> down there on the bottom left is all the files you'll need in the lib folder on your CircuitPy. But uh, like I said, you just copy and paste that into the MU editor, and then bada boom, bada bing, it now does whatever you tell it, tell it to do. So, in this case, you see um, right here, it shows, shows keyboard layout right, period. So, anytime you go that direction, it'll pr pretend like it's pressing the key, period. And down here is a comma. So, anytime you turn it, the dial that way, it'll do a comma. So when you set like that, and you tell Premiere that these keys mean that, you've automatically made your frame by left or frame by right. Uh, likewise for the zoom in and zoom out. I got A and on one and S on the other. Um, if you can think of anything else, uh, it's, it's rinse and repeat, you know? But yeah, that's how um, I made my video editing keyboard dials and how hopefully you can too, or find something uh, useful to do with uh, this cheap alternative. Thank you for watching. Till next time, see you on the flip side.